Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 12th of 2022. Well, it is titled Comet Leonard close up from Australia. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of Comet Leonard. And we've looked at that a few times over the past uh, month or so, as it came in closer to Earth back in December, and then finally came in as its closest approach to the sun a week, a little over a week ago, and is now heading back out into the outer solar system. Now when comets come in closer, they develop their head and tail. Normally a comet essentially is just a big a block of of ice uh, and other materials so ice and some rocky material that orbits well out in the depths of the solar system and really doesn't look like anything interesting other than just a very small solid object and it would be essentially invisible we can't see comets out at the edge of the solar system simply because they are so small However, when they come in because they are icy, they warm up in the solar heat. So the sun's energy will heat up that ice and vaporize some of it. And that material will then form the halo at the front of the comet here, the head of the comet. And we see that in a distinct green color, which is caused by carbon atoms. So carbon will actually give a green glow when it is excited. And actually the carbon that is there is diatomic two carbon atoms together and it gets destroyed by the sun pretty quickly. So we see it very close very solidly at the front of the comet. But as it gets pushed back into the tail that carbon has been ripped apart and no longer gives that green glow. So we don't see the green glow extending backward into the tail. Now we do see in the tail very detailed structures as material has been pushed off the comet and is being pushed back by the solar wind. So the solar wind uh, pushed off by the sun uh, material streaming out into space will then push material backwards off the comet. So the comet tail always points directly away from the sun. And that doesn't matter whether the comet is coming in to the solar system or coming out. So as it's coming in, the tail lags behind the comet. However, as a comet leaves the inner solar system, the tail will lead it will be leaving first and the rest of the comet will be heading towards the tail. And then of course, the tail will dissipate as the comet gets further out. So we will no longer be able to get images like this of Comet Leonard. As it gets further away from the sun, the tail will start to dissipate as the energy that creates it is comes from the sun and will then disappear. And we will it will be too weak to actually create the comet like the image that we see today. But here we get to see a very detailed close up image showing the head of the comet uh, with the distinct green color from carbon and the structures within the tail as it as it's pushed backward by the solar wind. So that was our picture of the day for January 12th of 2022. It was titled Comet Leonard close up from Australia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.